Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at Leonardo AI's Dream Shaper model that that seems to be good at generating anime characters, and we'll see this across 20 prompts. So the 20 prompts, I'm going to run the model through and show you the kind of output that this model generates. So to start off with, we're going to be looking at Kawaii Cat Girl with Big Bow, and this is the output that the model generates. I don't see a bow in any of the output but the description of the character itself is pretty well made. You can see there are ears here. Uh, the face itself is more aligned in that sense. Next, I try to generate Samurai Warrior with Katana. While it's not anime centric, seems like a more realistic game character. Next, I tried Magical Girl with Wand and Sparkles. And I think this one looks fine. Uh, this one seems more real, but the last three seem like an anime character with a wand and there's this whole effect of magic around the character itself. Next, I tried Cyborg with mechanical enhancements, something that looks really, really cyborgish. You can see in a lot of nut bolts, wires. So, wouldn't say this is a clean generation. Next, I tried Ninja with throwing stars. So, yeah, I think the generation is fine. Uh, this seems like there's some ninja characters, you know, throwing stars. These are two. Uh, seems like a duo of swords that's kind of throwing stars across. It's not perfect. You can see that there's a broken body there. But overall, I think it did a fine job. It's a giant robot piloted by human. Seems like something directly out of Transformer. Again, not anime. Seems The generation seems fine. Next, I tried School World with Backpack and Uniform. And I think this generation looks more realistic in that sense. And looks fine. A handsome vampire with red eyes and again all of these prompts are generated by <laughs> chat gpt so i tried to kind of add the element of randomness and seems it done a, did a fine job so i can see red eyes um seems like a vampire because of all the red uh, texture around the person itself good generation overall next cute chibi character with oversized head this looks fine this looks fine too so this generation overall too looks okay. Next is Mech Pilot with futuristic armor and the generation is fine. Obviously this is not anime but okay so next we tried generating a magical fox with nine tails. Uh, seems the the fox for sure seems magical uh, and I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six tails here. I think this may be the fur. But in general, what I've noticed with these AI generation models is that they falter when you kind of give them something to generate in terms of numbers. And I think Leonardo 2, uh, you can see this generation looks fine. Obviously, there are these are not nine tails and the tails themselves are not aligned. But the generation, I think it's... Next, I tried a dragon with colorful scales and I think this looks like a fancy dragon. Also looks, this one especially looks three-headed dragon with a uh, rainbowish sense, right? So the image generated image itself is fine. Next, I tried pirate with an eye patch and hook. I think you did not understand what I meant by hook. So see, there's an eye patch for all of these guys, but the hook is hook does not exist. In general, image generation model failed to generate good hands. So you can see the hands are messed up in almost all of the images. One of the hands is always messed up. Next, I tried Fairy Fairy with wings and wand. And I think this is a good generation. Kind of looks magical, but otherwise the generation is okay. Next, I tried Warrior with spear and shield. And I think this one looks great. These ones look great. Especially this one looks very aligned with what I had, had in mind. This one, more, this one seems to have a sword in his hand, but with a shield. Next, villain with a sinister grin. And I think these are all good generations. Uh, talking from the standpoint of the prompt, but the, again, this one looks very, very good. So I'm just gonna download it. But uh, these one have two heads. Again, these two heads only add to the scary nature of the generation. Next, I tried demon with horns and red eyes. Okay, I don't think these are bad generations at all. These are good generations. The first three one, the first three look pretty good. It's scary. Next, sorceress with magic book. And again, these do look like wizard. For some reason, it, this book has three openings. 
and most of the books have three openings so yeah these generations two are fine next i tried super heroine with cape and mask and i think these generations two look fine finally i tried knight and shining armor with the sword and yeah nothing to complain about here especially the only <laughs> only this one though looks like a weird combination of both horse and the person but these three look okay so all the generations i kind of wanted to show you with the uh, dream shaper 3.2 there are more models to play around in leonardo and i'd encourage you to kind of test it out for yourself if you have any questions drop them in the comments but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much